Number two key to success is slow down. Like really, like just totally slow down. In modern day horsemanship, we're taught to do things so quickly. You know, get that horse backing up, back, 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 quick, 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 change direction, send that horse around, quick, 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 make that horse respect you and move and all this kind of stuff. Guys, these horses are trying their very, very best. And you gotta realize that, you know, people talk about natural horsemanship. None of what we ask a horse to do is natural at all. You know, horses in the wild don't have halters on them and steady sticks directing them and saddles strapped on them and headgear put, think about it, right? So there's really, the whole idea of natural horsemanship, it, it's kind of not really a thing if you really, if, you're, if we're really being honest, okay? So I want you to slow the process down. Every horseman, every horseman, including myself, like everybody can always be a little bit slower, more deliberate, more intentional. And when we are slower, it gives our horse more clarity about what it is we're asking. If you've ever tried to learn a foreign language, like for example, Spanish, if you don't know Spanish and you turn on Univision and there's some telenovela playing and you know, it's like Marisol and you know, she's like just talking and it's all fast and you're not even gonna know what they're, what they're saying, right? And so like when you are learning a new language, like your instructor, your teacher, it's usually gonna start with really simple things like como te llama, like what's your name, right? They're gonna start with the real simple basics and take it really slow. Como te llama, como te llama. Ma, right? But a native speaker might be like, como te llamas, right? And so we have to realize that our horses just don't naturally speak our language. And so by slowing down, we give them an opportunity to one, understand, but also process and digest what it is we are asking of them. So be very deliberate in the way that you ask things and the way that you move, right? The way that you do, be slow. Slower is always going to lead to more clarity to your horse. The more clear you are with what you're asking your horse, the more certain they are of what you're asking and the more confidence they have to perform for you.